be today. It seemed like this is my new hobby. Um, painting the stripes. We've already painted that one down there. Um, there's a spot right there that needs a, another coat. So um, we're going to put another coat on there. So I've retaped the gold. Um, I learned from the gold that um, I let this dry really good. And some say not to let it dry really good, but um, you can see on this one down here, came out nice and straight when I took the tape off. I let that dry really good overnight before I removed the tape. Wanted to make sure it didn't need a second coat. Um, anyway, I'm trying to show you a little bit of before and after. This is the stripe before. And I kind of like that color, but um, it was hard to match up and the stripes are 18 years old. So, and see if I can get a good angle here to show you the texture of this Rust-Oleum after it's dried. Look at that, isn't that nice? That is nice. Now, we'll see how what it looks like in the six months to a year. But uh, yeah, that texture is really, really nice. There's a close-up. It's about the best I can do on a close-up. But I think I can go ahead and take this tape off. Um, this one here needed a second coat in certain spots. So I went ahead and put a second coat on that last night. Now I'll show you down here on the one that I put the first coat on last night. Um, I don't really... So if I can get this door open. I don't really think this one's going to need a second coat. I'm trying to show you the best I can the texture from an angle. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to be able to go ahead and take that tape off today too. Um, right here. I missed a spot, so I gotta throw some on here this morning. Um, but other than that, here's the door. Gosh, you can see yourself in it. Here's the other stripe on the door. I'll go ahead and move the door for you. Yeah. And now that is, um, I had some green and it was too dark for my liking. So I added some white, I ordered some white Rust-Oleum and put some white Rust-Oleum. I put uh, six ounces of white with a full quart of green and I added um, one ounce of brushing thinner. And um, uh, some people put hardener in it, acrylic hardener, but I didn't, um, but yeah, I like this, so. I was going to just take some before and after pictures today. I have this one sanded um, and ready. I got to tape it off. And, uh, but here, I'll try to show you from an angle. The, this is the gold I did. People have been asking for a close up, so here's a close up. And uh, that's the gold. That was a dark turquoise color. I thought it was ugly. It had too much blue in it. And um, so I did I did prime that stripe first, the gold. I primed them white first because it was so dark. But yep, that's the before and after. I started the taping on this one up here. So then will be the same color of green. I think that green and gold goes pretty good together. So, all right. Just wanted to see you a little, show you a little bit about what we're doing today at Next Adventures Travels. We're getting there already. Um, this isn't just a dream. Um, after I fully retire, um, we will sell our home. And we will go full time, not to saying we won't come back after um, a year and rent a place or something if we're still alive. But um, 
It's not just a dream. It's going to be a reality for Next Adventure Travels. Hey everyone, I wanted to do a little bit of the video um, of the tape removal um, to show you um, tape removal. Now this is metal, but the Rust-Oleum is for metal, um, fiberglass. Um, it's called a top side paint. Um, it's for boats, that's what it's for. But uh, yeah, I wanted to show you a short video of some tape removal. And here's what she looks like. It's not perfect. It's not going to be perfect. It's a modification. But it's a lot cheaper than buying new stripes. It's a lot cheaper than buying new stripes. And you don't have all the frustration of taking old stripes off. I took a bunch of old stripes off the front. Some of you may have seen an earlier video of ours. Of the stripes in the front. This said up here... This said uh, Seabreeze LX um, went all the way over past the edge there, all the way over past the edge there. And I took all that off with the Doka disc. And it works really well. But it's just, you know, it's time and, and energies. And we're just trying to get Miss Betty fixed up. We will see you later.